Have you seen him drink? Yes. What did he drink? Grey Goose. Where did he get it? Because I had the hotel not this? give him the key uh, for the mini bar. It's a, it's a liquor store across the street from the hotel. Uh -huh. and room service was delivering it to my brother and sister's room. They were going over and getting it and taking it to whose room? Ted's room. They was, room service was bringing it to... Now which brother and sister were they taking it to? Julian and Desmond. Okay, but why are they helping him get alcohol? Well, I'm going to tell you what Julia told me. She knew it wasn't right or whatever, but it would, it would kind of calm him down to the point where he would be a little more tolerable. This is what she shared with me, and he was. All right, well, let's take a look at what he says. Tad, are you sober? Yes, I am. When's the last time you used? I mean, I can't give you exact dates, but it's a couple years ago. And again, you haven't had any alcohol, any alcohol no drugs, no nothing drugs. since you've been to Hollywood. Nothing. I'm scared to death of that being one of the biggest stories. Yeah. Next on The Insider, Ted Williams gets a drink, you know, that kind of thing. One of your daughters says that you are not sober. Okay. What do you say to that? Another piece of sensationalism that could be sold. I mean, if that's what they want to do, then fine. You know, I, I can only say that to thine own self be true. Mm -hmm. I feel good with what I'm saying about my sobriety. What do you say to that, guys? It's sad. It's, it really is sad. Ted yeah. needs Ted needs help. He really needs help. So he's lying. He's lying. That's so that, that whole tape right there was a complete every lie. Every word was a lie. Patricia, thank you for joining us. I know you're not feeling particularly well. Here's my concern. You say he's pulling the wool over America's eyes. Yes, he is. You know, I don't want the wool pulled over my eyes, and that's why I confronted him with this stuff. I confronted him with saying two and a half years clean and sober. Then in my interview, he says a year. Mm -hmm. Now, in this interview that we just saw, he tells the interviewer again, no, 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 it's been over two years, over two years. He tells me it's not. So I bring all of you guys in, and I, I sit down with y'all and say, okay, where are we? Y'all didn't tell me the truth either. As far as us not telling the truth, we didn't see him till after the taping at his hotel. So we had already aired and talked about it. As far as him drinking and stuff, that took place after the fact. As far as him being clean and sober for two years, I never knew when the last time he had had any crack or anything. Last time I had seen him was eight months prior to the show. So I didn't know what he had done up until that point. Did, did y'all know things you didn't tell me? No. I, I suspected things. What did, you, what did you know that you didn't tell me? I knew that he wasn't two years clean. You knew that. Why didn't you tell me that? I was kind of excited to see him. It's been like eight months, a little over eight months, and I hadn't seen him, so I didn't want to come, and then it destroyed, you know, what I was expecting to get out of it. I was hoping that maybe we could move forward, he could get sober, he can get the help he needs, and we can move forward with our relationship. But that didn't happen at all. It